Hey guys, this is Kirk from Acid Bite, and today I want to show you how to use our Film Leaders Pack in Premiere Pro. First off, I just want to say that I am doing this tutorial in Premiere Pro, but you can use the assets exactly the same way in any software, like uh, Sony Vegas, uh, LumaFusion on the iPad, uh, Final Cut, whatever you want. Sometimes what we call blending modes in Premiere is referred to as a composite mode or a compositing mode in other softwares, but the way you use the assets is exactly the same. So you'll be fine after watching this video, you'll be able to apply that to other softwares. So you can see I've already got a timeline here with two clips on it for this tutorial. Uh, when you download our pack, you're going to see something that looks like this. Uh, we have 97 different assets in here. So to start with, I'm just going to grab these and drag them straight into the project. And then let's uh, just jump right into this folder and I'll show you guys some things you can do with this pack. This one is uh, actually really cool. We got uh, different pieces of film from all over the world and, and from throughout the history. I mean, some of these strips are actually over 100 years old. Of course, there's a lot of English writing on here. There's also some French and some German and even some Cyrillic from the USSR. Like these are really from around the world. Uh, some even have notes from the projectionist written on them. So there's like, there's honestly a lot of really cool stuff here. Uh, I'll just grab something real quick to, you know, start my film to open. That's what a leader does. Uh, and since I'm in an HD timeline, I'm going to scale these down to fit my frame size. Uh, we did scale these open gate at more than 4K resolution, and they're usually in 4x3. So you will want to do a little bit of rescaling here, you know, if you're in 16x9 to make that fit with your project. So I'm just playing around here to find where uh, the leader just turns to black, you know, because I want that to fade into my opening clip. So I'm going to move uh, my first, well, both of my clips down a little bit and come to the blending mode, which remember can be called composite mode, but it's the same and I'm going to select screen. And as you can see, all of our assets always come with a unique piece of sound design, so we have you covered there. Uh, so let's have a preview of this and see how that looks. Nice, very cool. Uh, you could definitely use something like this to put your title over it or your opening credits. Uh, I do think that one was Cyrillic. Um, uh, here's another nice one, also looks Russian, um, but let's try to find something that we could maybe use as a transition because these are able to be used for, you know, more purposes than just the intro of your film. Um, let me grab this one, it kind of looks like scribbles on, on like colorful film. Uh, this time I'm actually not going to scale it to the frame size, but I am going to go and change the blending mode to uh, difference. Difference always looks amazing, as you can see. Uh, so let's preview that real quick. Yeah, so you can see what I mean there. Like, it totally can work as a transition as well as a leader. Uh, but let's look down here, and we actually have assets that we can use as textures to, as well. So I'm going to overlay that. And yeah, let's just keep the sound for now. Uh, but you can see this is kind of like a grainy... Uh, piece of footage with these yellow specks on it and these little like dusts and, and lines. So I'm going to scale it down a little bit and uh, make it line up with my uh, file and this time I'll choose overlay for the blending mode and that'll preserve that grain and the specks that we saw earlier. And let me just uh, punch in a little bit so we can see it well. Mm, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we're getting pretty grungy now. Uh, but let's let's grab one more. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, what is this one? Okay, so let's uh, scale that down again. And uh, this one looks kind of like some some scribbles written on negative film, I think. And uh, I think I'll try screen on this one because that will make the black transparent, right? So we keep those letters. Yeah, I mean, honestly, guys, I could like keep going on like this forever, you know? Um, there's just so much stuff in this pack. Uh, we have 
uh, countdowns and uh, end credits and uh, just a huge variety. Uh, basically, there's just like a million options for you guys to play with. So, you know, make it your own, play around with it. Uh, we always really look forward to seeing what you come up with. And thank you so much for downloading. I'll talk to you next time.